Hi, my name is Pranav Muttagi, and this video demonstrates a basic chess program written in Python, utilizing t Graphics module and a modified version of the 112 course-provided animation framework. In this video, I will be demonstrating a variety of the game's features, beginning with its handling of basic chess rules, and eventually moving on to explaining the three AI variants as well as the algorithm behind them. So let's get to it. I'll show the essential mechanics to two-player mode, in which we can make moves from both sides. As you can see, the player is able to drag and drop pieces to legal squares, as well as click and click. The program does prohibit illegal moves. If you try to make an illegal move, it'll, the piece will revert back to its original position. In addition, it also handles captures in the traditional way. And there's also detection for whose turn it is, as well as whether it is check or not. So if we engineer uh, a check here for white, we can see that the program tells us that black is in check. And we can also see that it also handles castling just fine. And also has checkmate detection. So if we were to get us an easy checkmate for white, we can see here that it does return that black is in checkmate, game over. So with the basic legality and uh, features demonstrated, we can now move on to explaining the uh, AI and the algorithm behind that. Each AI level employs the Minimax algorithm with alpha beta pruning and a heuristic function to evaluate the board and consequently determine the next move. In short, the Minimax algorithm for a two-player turn-based game features a player, the maximizer, trying to maximize his position and the opponent, the minimizer, trying to minimize the position for the maximizer. In this implementation of the algorithm, white is the maximizer, and black, the CPU, is the minimizer trying to make the position worse, worse for white. Minimax works its way through an evaluation of a game tree of possible positions at a given depth and returns the optimal path to take. Because chess state possibilities grow exponentially and soon outnumber even atoms in the observable universe, alpha beta pruning reduces competition time significantly. By setting upper and lower bounds through storing the best and worst positions seen so far, we can prune away branches in the game tree that aren't worth evaluating. This is the approach used in each level of the AI. Now, we'll take a look at what makes each level its corresponding difficulty. Here's the easy AI at work. It uses the Minimax algorithm and searches at only a depth of 1 to return a state for black. This compromises move quality for speed and is dependent on the heuristic which for this level accounts for material on the board, space advantages, and threats. The heuristic is also probabilistic in that this AI is more likely to pick a state at a random time, effectively weakening the AI's capacity. The medium level AI works the same way as the first, only differing in that it looks two moves into the future instead of one, and makes worse moves more infrequently as the probabilistic feature is reduced. Now, we show a demonstration of the hard-level AI at work, which incorporates two key features, a depth search of two and a heuristic that does all of the previously mentioned analysis, in addition to giving greater weightage to squares that tend towards the board's center. Also, the heuristic for this level makes no random bad moves and accounts for placing undefended pieces in threatened areas. However, the trade-off for a stronger AI is that the evaluation and recursion for this level requires a significantly greater amount of resources and slows the AI. As you can see, the AI avoids check and material deficit. So that's my chess and Minimax AI term project for 112. Thanks for watching.